All right then, so in this lesson, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the way Sapper runs component JavaScript. So if you've used Svelte before, you know that each component can have at the top a script tag, which is going to be any kind of script for that particular component, right? Now, does this script tag run in the browser or on the server? When you use Svelte, it's always in the browser, but in our case, when we're using Sapper, the answer is potentially both. It can run on the server and in the browser. Remember, for the initial request to a website using Sapper, the component is pre-rendered on the node server at first. So if we entered the website at mysite.com forward slash jobs, which is this component right here, this index component inside jobs, then the jobs route component is pre-rendered on the server first, right? And the resulting HTML and JavaScript bundle for the rest of the app is sent to us in the browser. So initially, for that first request, this script right here would always run on the server to help pre-render the component template and inject any dynamic data into it. Thereafter, though, when we click on links about the site and go to different pages, all of the rendering of the new route components like this is done in the browser like a typical SPA, a typical single page application. So at that point, the script tags all run in the browser, all these script tags, right? And not on the server. So it's entirely true that the scripts can run on the server and in the browser. The first request on the server and thereafter only ever in the browser. So let's see this in action. So what I'm going to do is just at the top in the script is a simple console log to say what page we're on. And in this case, it's the jobs one. And I'm going to copy this script and I'm going to save this and paste it in every other route component we have. So inside about as well, let me paste this at the top and open that back up, change this to about. And then let's go into the contact one again. Let's go to the top and paste this in. And this is going to be contact instead. And then finally, let's go to the home page. And at the very top, we'll paste this in again and change this to home. OK, so if it runs in the browser, then it's always going to be logged over here, right? And you can see that right here on the about page. But if it's logged on the server, if this script runs on the server, then this is the server log down here. And we can actually see that as well over here. Now, what I'm going to do is just go to a few different pages, right? And notice they're all being logged in the console over here, but they're not being logged again down here. They only logged initially when the server restarted, when we saved this project. The server restarted and that request was made fresh from the browser automatically. That's the only time they run because that was the first request to the server since it restarted for this web page. Now then, if I was to refresh, so send a fresh request to the server from this page over here, then we should see it logged over here, what page we're on or what page we're refreshing. So let me do that. We see it in the browser as well. It always happens in the browser when it gets here, but we should now see it on the server. It runs in both in this case for that first request. But again, if we go to other pages, then we don't see those logged on the server. It was just that initial request where this ran on the server. Let's try it again with a different page. I'm going to go to contact and refresh to send a fresh new request to the server. And when we come down here, we can see now contact is logged in the server terminal. And also when we move around, we get them here, but we don't get them here. Just that initial request for the contact page. So this is something you need to constantly keep in mind when you're writing your code inside these scripts, because a user could enter your site from any entry URL you have, any kind of route you've set up. Therefore, potentially any component can be initially pre-rendered on the server and all the JavaScript code in that component is going to be run on the server. Now, the only exception to this is if you place your code inside a couple of different lifecycle hooks like on mount. So code inside a hook like that is never going to run on the server because the hook is part of the component lifecycle in the browser. So it's only ever going to run the code inside the browser. Let me demo this. Let me first of all up here import something. So I'm going to say import and we're going to import the on mount hook, right? And that is going to be from Svelte. All right. So this on mount hook fires a function when the component has mounted the DOM. And that can't happen on the server, so it's never going to trigger on the server. It's only going to trigger 
in the browser. So if I say, for example, on mount right here, and then passing a function to fire when we've mounted the DOM, and in here I can say safe for browser only code, e.g. fetch. Down here, I could say console.log only ever runs in the browser, okay? So this code is never actually gonna run on the server and I can demo that if we save this, and uh, this is the index page. If we come over here now and go to the homepage, then refresh to send a fresh request we get this logged over here, but it's not gonna be logged over here. Only this bit is, which is this log. So this will never run on the server, okay? So then, what does all this mean in practical terms? Well, it means since any of this code outside of on mount right here could potentially run on the server, we need to be careful about the code that we write. For example, we couldn't use the window object or methods such as fetch because those APIs don't exist on the server and that will fail. So let me demo this. Let me try and fetch something. I'm just going to pass in an endpoint from JSON placeholder right here, okay? If I save this now and try to send a request to the home page, and it says over here, fetch is not defined. So fetch isn't defined on the server. We can't use it on the server, all right? But however, if I place that inside on mount, this will work because right here we're waiting for the component to mount to the DOM before we fire this. So therefore it has to be in the browser and we don't get an error anymore. Okay. When we refresh, there's no error. And yeah, we don't get any results because we're not doing anything with this fetch. But either way, it's safe to run this fetch right here. So always be mindful that your code could be running on the server and in the browser as well. Now, there is another type of special script that we can add to components, which always runs before this script right here. And we use that to do things like preload data. So we're going to talk about that in the next video.